and in light of Africa Day 2023 Global Initiative for Food Security and Ecosystem Preservation GIFSEP in collaboration with other civil society organizations seek a redress on issues affecting Africa with the theme accelerating the implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Area. During a press conference yesterday in Abuja, the CSOs highlighted the opportunities for renewable energy in Nigeria while also settling a climate change agenda for the incoming administration. Victoria Ayorinde tells us more. In commemorating 60th anniversary of Africa Union on Thursday in Abuja, civil society organizations seek redress of issues bewildering Africa's climate change and renewable energy. Stakeholders unveiled a survey report carried out on Nigeria, Ghana, Togo and Benin with the theme, an analysis of policies and role of local civil society organizations in boosting renewable energy uptake. The team lead Global Initiative for Food Security and ecosystem preservation, Mike David Ternugwa, said the essence of this survey is to get inclusive access to electricity, manage the renewable energy, and ensure all Nigerians have access to it. Mike charged incoming government to appoint capable ministers who will perform with credibility and also include women and youths in leadership positions. Incoming administration appoint as ministers and other executive officers, capable and experienced individuals with track record into key ministries such as Ministry of Environment. We need a capable and qualified minister for environment. Once a minister of environment who is not a climate denier. It must be an individual that understands financial flows. Same advice goes to state governors as well. It is important to state here that women and youth are the most vulnerable to climate change impact. And as such, they should not be excluded. They should be part of the solution. Also, Chief Bureau Officer Akoji Kevin called on the government to build a solar farm generating electricity to boost Nigeria economy. Great Africa Day and also working towards the World Environment Day and most especially our, our conversations today on renewable energy. We have the brilliant idea but we see government come and go and our basic clarion call today is that the incoming administration, in as much as they want to put to bear their own intelligence, can work with what has been created so that we can build. If over 200 million people have access to power, the industries will work, the local economies of scale will be improved, and the small medium enterprises will be largely encouraged to produce goods and services. And a whole lot of our youths and even our elders will be employed. Stakeholders added that Nigeria should adopt renewable energy to control flooding. We would like for the incoming administration to consider renewable energy, hydro, renewable, renewable energy with regards to hydroelectricity generation in the Niger Delta region. I believe it has potentials for hydroelectricity generation in addition to what we already have. Also, I think it's one of the ways we can control flooding as he has already said. So I think um, this coming administration needs to look into that area, to look into these issues as a solution to the environmental problems. Hence, stakeholders say acting on climate change early warning signs will help reduce disaster rates in the country.